You guys look like seals in a sardine can. I, I can barely see you. I'm so tight in this thing. I can't wait to get back there. Guys, uh, today we're in the Fiat. Ken and Wes are in the car. We're going to be meeting up with a bunch of Corvairs that are driving north. And we're going to the Murphy Museum for a Corvair show. Sardine can. There's probably about a dozen Corvairs here so far. Let's go see. Murphy up in Oxnard for the Corvair show. That's right. Uh, this is Michael, and and you have a, a rather unique Corvair. Mm -hmm. uh, well, all of, all of them are unique. They're all unique. But this one specifically is uh, truly unique because this was used in a, in a very popular film. Uh huh. And 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 tell me how you ended up with the car, and then had it, how it ended up on the film. Okay. Well, first of all, I was kind of born and raised in Corvair as I came home from the hospital in '63. Uh, and so, you know, this one I rescued from a junkyard in 85. There was nothing really good on it. It was beat to hell, and my dad still had his 63, so I transposed a lot of the parts onto it and restored it when I was still in high school. I was working at Paramount Pictures, uh, and uh, Robert Zemeckis saw my Corvair on the lot. You know, I was driving it. And, uh, he was doing Forrest Gump. I had no idea about what the movie was, and he just once said wanted to use the car. Yeah. And so he sent his uh, transpo captain over and got all my info and said, okay, well, we want to use it, but we're going to paint it. We're going to put a new top on it. We're going to. No, you were a writer at the studio at the time. I was writing a show called Hard Copy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. So they fixed it all up and they shot down at USC, and it's the scene where uh, Forrest is waiting for Jenny to come home, and she pulls up with a guy who's trying to like man 
handler in the car and yeah, it gets getting a little frisky and so Forrest goes and pulls him out and, and uh, punches him a couple yeah, of times. The guy pulls out his Corvair and screams. The car was originally silver for the film, wasn't it? Well, when I got the car, it was a rusty maroon color. Uh, my first restoration of it in 86, uh, I painted her uh, white or an ivory color. And that's the color it was in uh, 93 when he saw it and uh, he painted it silver for the movie. And, uh, you know, a few years later, I, I really started to fall in love with this color called oh, Evening yeah. Orchid. It's never been used on an early model because it only started in 65, and in 65, yeah. the body style had changed, so it's a combination that's not seen, and I really liked it, and I said, okay, I hope it's not too feminine. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna it's gorgeous for her it's that awesome. color, and by the way, her name is Claire, uh, and so yeah, I've had Claire 32 years now, and uh, I love driving her uh, awesome. every day. Awesome. Stopped at all the rockets and missiles, planes. Ken has never seen these things. He's like a little kid. Cool, huh? Such a sweet name, Sparrow 3. Yeah. And it's such a dangerous thing. The other day, I was asked by someone why I love cars so much. Is it because they're fast? Is it because they look cool? You know, what is it exactly? When I was a kid, we had five kids. My parents had five kids. And every weekend or even sooner, 
we would all pile into the station wagon and we'd all go some, somewhere cool. And each time it was up to one of us kids to decide where we wanted to go. In, in, in essence, it, if it was my weekend this weekend, I would pick where we would go. We'd go to the movies, we'd go to feed the ducks, we'd go get some ice cream, we'd go to Bob's Big Boy, we'd go to the begonia farm and play around in the plants. The excitement of getting in the car, that's what it was all about. Honestly, I didn't really care where we were going, I knew it was going to be cool. And because it was cool, uh, I just got excited. I, it didn't really matter. The fact that the family was together, we were gonna do something fun, and I put these two things together. Get in a cool car, go somewhere cool. And things haven't changed for me, I just wanna be able to get into a cool car and take you guys somewhere cool. And today, big thanks to the Murphy Museum. We got a chance to go up there and see some really fantastic Corvairs. It's always great to talk to those guys. They love their cars, and it's great to see all of them together. I'm not sure if you remember the last time you saw a bunch of Corvairs all in one place. Came back to Malibu, hung out with Kathy, went to the beach, found a cool shell. But once again, it just got me thinking. Doing fun stuff, doing things that you love, puts good thoughts in your mind. And you give those good thoughts out, and what comes back to you are good things. It's a pretty simple mathematical equation. If you love cars, or you love the beach, or I don't really care what it is that you love, but if you keep your mind focused on those things that you love, you're gonna naturally put good thoughts towards it. Our job is to learn how to think better. Because when we think better, we put good thoughts out into the world, and goodness comes back to us. That's the whole game, people. That's the whole game, in a nutshell. Life is meant to be shared, and in doing so, we hope our stories influence people to think positively and improve their lives. So do what you love, and love what you do. And be sure to hang out with us here on the blog. We got a lot of exciting stuff coming. I mean, lots of stuff. Thank you.